Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Train Sim World once again, checking out the Oakville Subdivision DLC uh, with the Canadian National Locomotives. Let's go ahead and go to timetable so I can show you which locos you get. You get the GP9RM and then you get the GP38-2. So the, the 9RM is this little guy here. He's got a little hump on the back. Uh, and then this one here uh, is the, the bigger one, but it doesn't have the hump, uh, which just means that it has the dynamic brake. Um, going back, let's go ahead and jump into a scenario and we are going to do maple leaf motoring should take about 60 minutes, but editing wise, it won't take us that long. Uh, so the description says, keep the cars rolling by processing the latest batch of new cars for export trains involved is a GP nine RM. Wonderful. Let's do it. Maple leaf motoring. Welcome to Oakville yard. Climb aboard the GP nine RM to get started. You got it. And uh, right out of the gate, you'll notice we are going to be in the evening time. It looks like, I don't know what it is about games these days, but man, doesn't it seem like every game wants to showcase uh, sunrise and sunset. I'm kind of over it. Honestly, I would much rather it be the middle of the day, harsh shadows, sun above us, things like that. Okay, so I did the training scenarios for this uh, particular uh, loco, and I gotta say, one thing they don't really show you is the lighting setup. And you'll notice with this uh, this particular one, it has an interesting set of lights back here. Uh, they are these uh, red, green, and white lights, uh, and then the number of lights as well. The white one, uh, I think that just means that you're by yourself as a front train, because back in the day, they would use actual flags. Uh, then you have red which is um and a train eot and then green is like normal operating or no green i think means you have another one behind you so since we have a dual setup here uh this guy here will be the rear so we're gonna make him red and the one in the front i think would be green i could be completely wrong about that uh it's it's been a long time uh since i even looked into that like since the uh, train sim days so let's go ahead and jump over here into the engineer seat uh they don't have you do any of this you know, and it's something that kind of always drives me crazy. They don't have you set up these uh, in a realistic manner. Uh, front headlights goes to dim. Yep, rear headlights are off. That's fine. I don't care about that. Here we are right here. They're called class lights, what I'm talking about. So the rear ones here are gonna go to red. There we go, red and uh, red. There we go, put you back where we had you. And that is for the front. Another thing we can do is uh, toggle the number lights back here. I almost forgot about that. That uh, will be good to go. And now you can see we have the red lights there with the number lights and we've got the uh, headlights on dim. The rear locomotive is set up fantastic. Now we can do what Train Sim wants us to do. Train Sim World uh, and jump into the engineer seat. And I'll show you a little bit uh, about this particular loco. It's pretty straightforward. Like the other ones we've seen before, you've got your uh, panel set up here. Those are class lights like we saw before. Here's the main panel uh, and all the stuff, you know, you can mess with all of it. You got class lights, engine room, platform lights. The engine room ones don't work. Uh, number lights, obviously there. You can turn those on and off. Pretty cool. Uh, and this is how you would in start the engine. I would love for more of these to have you actually just cold start an engine. They just don't do that very much. All right, let's go ahead and hop in here. Let's make them happy. Uh, insert the reverser handle. Okay, let's just do our normal flow. Gen, uh, gen field goes on and we'll get our headlights to bright. Uh, rear headlights are off right now. Class lights, we can set those to green. There we go, move you out of the way so I can get to the green on you. There we go, since we have the other one behind us, I think that's how you would do it. Uh, ditch lights on and uh, step lights are on. They're already on. Uh, gauge lights actually are down over where, okay. They just don't want me to mess with anything basically. They're like, what are you doing? Uh, gauge lights are there and you have a dimmer switch right here. Pretty cool and it actually works. I think that's neat. All right, let's make them happy. Insert the uh, reverser. Come on, sometimes it doesn't want to do it. There we go. Set the reverser to forward. Also, you'll notice the sound on this loco is actually pretty good. I like the sounds of the, you know, the clicking sounds. You don't get that on some of the other uh, DLC. Set the reverser to forward. We'll do that. Wonderful. Set the brake cutoff, uh, cutout valve to freight. Yep, that is true. You go to there. And to start off today, head over to the manufacturing plant to collect the first cut of auto rack cars. Yes, we're going to check out the new auto rack cars in the DLC. 
Set the automatic brake to release. Let's just set that like that. Using the controller. Perfect. Throttle up to get moving. You got it. Give it a, two short blasts here once the uh, brakes are happy. I'm going to wait for those to uh, settle down a little bit. Pretty darn good horn on it, I must say. Pretty darn good. Okay, throttle up to one. While the train is being propelled to the next location, be aware of any further switches that may need setting. You know what that means. When they tell you that, you're going to have to go through and change a bunch of switches, which we'll do here in a second. All right, so we had to switch four of those today. All right, wonderful. Go ahead and throttle on up here. We'll get around the corner. We got decent speed in the yard we can get to around 10 miles an hour. And uh, I will go to the outside view and let you hear the horn in all her glory and the sounds. crossing pattern there on the horn and that's okay i just wanted to show you what the sound of the horn uh was like and i gotta say i'm actually pretty happy with it it's a little low compared to the rest of the sounds but i mean it's a train horn it should be a little loud if you ask me but nonetheless it's pretty darn cool i must say normally they have you turn this display on uh the banking com uh i think it's on right now isn't it yeah it was on the whole time okay fantastic in the uh, tutorial, they told us to turn that on, and I guess they aren't going to have us do it today. All right, idle on you. We need the independent brake. Be ready for it so we're not speeding through here. But all of the uh, track is set where it needs to go. And then you know what we're going to have to do? Once we get to the auto rack, we're going to be connecting to it, it looks like, from the map. And then we're going to set the local behind us up for the front operation. So we're going to have to set this one up for rear operation. I must say they're pretty generous with their speed zone in this area, which is actually kind of nice. It's better than, uh, you know, the previous DLC we were using where we're only doing like two miles an hour the entire time. And yes, we are turning onto this set of tracks here. Hope to throttle three. A little bit more speed. It's 200 yards out. There we go. I can't wait to get this thing on the open track and open her up. That's the most fun. All right, slow it down a little bit here. Throttle one. We have a grade. That's the reason why it was taking so much throttle to get moving. We still have a 1.5 going up. Hey, look at that. We got cars going underneath us there on the bridge. All right, we're all set up for that guy. Very nice. Throttle one for you. And uh, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and just go idle on that guy. We're gonna add our independent brake. It slows down pretty darn good uh, in the tutorials. I was learning that quite quickly. Before we hook up to this, I want to show you the uh, the auto racks. Let's go ahead and slow down. There we go. That's actually pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and go full on it. I'm gonna get out real fast because I want to show you this. It's pretty cool how they've modeled these auto rack cars. All right. You see up here. This is the one we're going to be hooking up to. And uh, we got the doors that we can open up. And there's the car. Look at that. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's do that again. <laughs> I thought you could open up this one too. Yeah, okay, you can. Check that out. Climb up the path. We can walk in here and check out all the cars. Pretty neat little detail that they uh, gave us on this one. I think that's neat. All right, hop on down. Yep, there we go. Close these doors back up. Awesome, and lock it. And uh, some of the, some of these don't have anything in them. Yeah, see that one's empty there. So after they, uh, you know, complete uh, the, the making of the cars and they put them in here, we're gonna take them on out of here. Pretty darn cool. All right, let's get uh, let's get back to it. We're wasting too much time. We've got a lot to do here today. 
Now watch in the front here when I release the brakes, you're gonna see those things move. There they go, they pull out like that. And as we release the brakes, go to throttle one. We're just gonna barely, barely, barely tap into this thing. It won't take a whole lot since we're so close to it. That works for me. And idle on that guy. That's actually pretty decent. We're gonna be under two miles an hour. We can actually add a little bit of brake right when we get to it as well. I like to go right, right there, and then there we go. Brake, perfect. That actually worked out really nice. Okay, so set automatic brake to handle off. Yep, we need to do our thing here. Let's get this thing set up for uh, the rear operation. Front headlights are going to go to dim. There we go. Uh, ditch lights on this guy go to off. Step lights, we'll keep them on for now. Um, and set the automatic brake to handle off. All right, it's going to be actually the opposite way. There we go, handle off. Uh, this guy here is set to full application. We don't want that. And sometimes they don't tell you to do that. If you're if you're working in the yard and you, you've got your brake set and they don't tell you to do it, you'll forget about it. So remember that. Uh, you go to cut out, yes you do. Set the MU2A valve to trail six or two six. It's down there, if we can grab it. There we go, six or two six. Whatever that means, I have no clue. Set the reverser to neutral. There we go, and remove the reverser handle. You got it. There we go, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. Maybe, there we go. Sit in the engineer seat, yep. We're gonna set the lights up here. Uh, this guy's gonna go to red. And uh, you're gonna go to red as well. And then we're gonna set the other ones up for green now. There we go, perfect, bail off, yes. Oh, one thing I do wanna show you is they, ha they do have a cab light in here, which is pretty darn cool how it lights up, I love how realistic that is. At night, it's really, really neat. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off. Hop on out of here. And uh, we should be set up now for uh, a rear operation for this particular loco. And we can jump down here and look at it. Just look at it. Yep, we got our red there, perfect. All right, we're gonna set this thing up now for a forward operation. So let's go ahead and sit in the engineer's seat. All right, number lights back here are on. We're gonna go to the class lights. We're gonna make sure these guys are green this time around. There we go. And uh, you, our rear headlights off. You will be all the way to bright and we'll turn your ditch lights on and step lights are, are well, they were already on. And then we can get our um, gauge lights on as well if we'd like them and put the reverser handle in. Yep, if we can, it is just so finicky. There we go. Set the reverser to Ford. You got it. Uh, brake cut off to freight. Cut out, not cut off. Yep, you got a freight and then engine run on the field gen. Awesome. Automatic brake to release. You got it. We can just do this stuff with the uh, controller itself. Automatic brake. There we go. And throttle up to get moving. You got it. Tell that bell. We don't want to listen to that. And go via location to the Oakville yard. Over there, 800 yards, and we will keep an eye on the speed limits. Making sure that we're gonna throttle up. Yep, we're moving, sweet. I wanna make sure I had the rear all set up right, and it looks like we did. Going down the hill this time, we have to use our automatic brakes. There we go. We don't want to speed through here. Make them happy. In fact, we need to make sure our switches are set up here. So we're going to go ahead and just give service to this entire guy here and come to a stop because it doesn't look like that's the case, but I could be wrong. They did not have it set up for us. I didn't think they would, but uh, we're going to double check and make sure it's good to go now. Throttle him back up here. Turn off the bell. There we go, number two. We're rolling again. Beautiful, get these windows open. There we go. Wonderful. Maintaining our speed zones here, and uh, we've got a red signal at 900 something yards. Keeping an eye on that. We're via location here. We don't have to stop. Let's go straight on through it. And uh, Oakville Yard, stop location of 500 yards. That uh, makes sense to me. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm happy we're not doing like two miles an hour just crawling through these yards like we were last time. Still rolling down the line here, 100 yards till we have to come to a stop. Uh, so I'm making sure we're not doing, you know, like 10 miles an hour once we get there and have to slam the brakes at the last second. Instead, we're slowing down early and just rolling in here around five to six. Oh, got another one moving through the area there on the left. That's cool. Yeah, they don't have their lights set up. See, those are little small details that I wish uh, were there, but uh, they just seem to skip out on those sometimes. All right, 30 yards or so here and keep an eye out. That's probably the reason why we had to wait was for that line there, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and add service here. Come to a stop, make them happy, and uh, go via location. Oh, we have to go back through the yard again. All right, just switch that one. I think that's the only one I have to switch, and then we're good to go. Yes, we are. All right, couple blasts of the horn here. And we'll go ahead and throttle up as we're going to start heading backwards now. All right, so I assume we're going to be hooking up to this whole set of auto cars here is what it's looking like. Yep, we're almost to it. So let's go ahead and uh, keep an eye out on that. Couple the formation to the rest of the auto rack cars. Exactly. All right, add a little bit of initial reduction here. We're idle on you. Just make sure we're not going to slam into those things. All right, so at this point, you're probably asking uh, yourself this question. I get it asked to me a lot, actually, and that is... Why do you find this entertaining? What is what is it about train sim uh, that entertains you? And to me, it's just like, you know, having a giant 3D fun, interactive uh, train set like you would, you know, like a model railroad system one. But number two, I just have a passion and a love for big, heavy machinery. I was a heavy machinery operator at the airport. Um, and, you know, once you kind of catch a bug like that, you, it's hard to shake it. Um, and that's the reason why I really, really get enjoyment out of games like this. It's, it's, uh, you know, peaceful, it's calming, it's fun for me and for a lot of other people. We have a lot of other enthusiasts as well. And I'm always blown away by how many people do this stuff in real life and can offer their two cents. Uh, it's pretty darn neat. All right. A little bit more of a stop there. There we go. Beautiful. Wait for a moment. You got it. And we're going to Burlington, baby. 11 miles. All right, so we go throttle idle. Reverser is forward indeed. We can release the automatic brakes. And we're going to go ahead and give that two short blasts. Throttle on up. Turn that bell off. We don't need it. And we're on our way to Burlington, folks. everything right we should be set up i uh, double checked my switches they were a little messed up so that's good there that's good there you are good as well and we have a green signal down there at the end and we will be on our line and then a red signal down there so we'll keep an eye on that uh right now watching our yard speed and uh in 200 something yards we'll get that green 300 yards to the 60 mile an hour zone all right, so I saw a red on there, and that uh, is not for us. That's going back into this way. So we should have a green all the way out there. We're just waiting for our speed zone to open up a little bit more. We had a little bit more throttle here. And uh, once we clear that, we'll be able to open this baby up for the first time. Cleared that set of signals and about to hit the 60 mile an hour zone. Uh, they haven't opened it up for us yet. There it is right there. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and power this baby up. I'm ready for it go to the inside view so we can listen to this thing wind up throttle three we'll keep an eye out for crossings there we go throttle four and 0.9 to a 30 mile an hour zone so we're not going to get to go too fast here unfortunately
right, slow this puppy down a little bit here. Just make sure we're not going to bust the uh, 30 zone as we get through this station. And that seems to be okay for right now. So we're a little bit more throttle up. Watching our speed and fill the bell once we clear this platform. There we go. We're trending towards 30, so that's good. Kill the bell. And 500 yards till that. Once we get into that zone, we'll keep an eye and make sure that all switches are good. All right, so we got that uh, flashing green light there. We're almost here to the 30 mile an hour zone. We're doing 24, so we're doing what we should be doing. Uh, and now we understand why, because we're switching track here to the left. That makes sense why we had to slow down for that. We wouldn't want to be going 60 miles an hour. Using our uh, horn here as we get through the crossings. And we are still in the 30 mile an hour zone right now. We're past the 30 zone. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. 1.3 miles. We got a green line. We're going to get this thing up to 60 miles an hour. We got a train about to uh, fly past us here on the left, which is really cool as well. Oh, yeah. He's turning some uh, smoke out of the top there. Here we go. Run seven. Oh, he's running auto cars too. Nope. He's running uh, something else. That's cool. Here we go. Watching those amps climb. And uh, here we go, folks. Run eight. Let's do it. front here looking good we're at 50 miles an hour getting closer to that 60 7.8 miles to our via location and uh we have green line all the way as of now which is fantastic Got a green signal ahead, almost to 60 miles an hour. Almost made it to that top speed for the line, which is pretty cool. There we are, passing through this. Let's see what we got up here. And we're still green, right around 60 miles an hour. Throttle back a little bit here, so we're not going too fast. Slow down to throttle five here because we have a little bit of a grade. It's helping us out with our speed. Just getting through these crossings here. Pretty cool to be going through these areas at 60 miles an hour, I must say. A big stark contrast to what we were doing before. Using some initial reduction here to slow down. So we're not uh, going to be busted through. We we're going down a little bit of a grade there. Keeping that bell on for now. We're going through a station. I wouldn't be that guy on the platform right there watching a freight train fly by at 60 miles an hour. I've actually done that before. It's pretty cool. 3.6 miles to our via location. Everything right now is uh, going well. Almost to go via location in Burlington. Turn our bell on. We're going to be going through another station, it looks like. And we'll add a little bit of initial reduction so we're not going too fast. Release it. Trying to keep them points of flowing, man. Keeping them flowing. We're looking good as of now. Using these rail lines. Radio E2531 Emergency Maintenance has closed the route beyond Bayview Vajunction. Junction. Uh, you'll be diverted to Hamilton Yard until further notice. Oh, great. 
Oh, great. Go to Bayview Junction. Well, let's keep an eye on what we're supposed to do here. I got a 15 mile an hour zone coming up here soon enough. So we're uh, currently off the power and we're uh, looking good. Okay. Go ahead and add some service here. We're going to start slowing this puppy down big time. 800 yards to that. It'll be 15 miles an hour, man. It's going to be pretty much full service right now to slow her down. 500 yards to that. Looks like it's going to be just past these signals here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it in time. We're going to definitely try. This little uh, grade uh, was sneaking up on us pretty fast, but uh, yeah, we're going to be fine here. All right. Wonderful. We're going to release that. That should be enough there. And we're rolling into the 15 mile an hour zone now. Uh, we let it off all the way down to about 13 miles an hour. That kind of worked out really well in our favor. We'll probably roll around run three through this spot. We actually have a downgrade. Uh, so we're going to be watching speed here as we go down it. Uh, Cause we're gonna be getting an approach signal here in about 30 miles an hour. So they want 15 here. Maybe they want us to switch tracks. Uh, I, I looked down here earlier and I didn't see that that was the case. It looks like the, our line is gonna be okay. Yeah, there's our signal there and where we're going via location. So that's fine. Uh, we're just uh, adhering to the speed limits right now and uh, hopefully it gets better. All right. No more initial reduction there. We can go up to 30 miles an hour now. So go ahead and jump it up a little bit here. We got our little 1% downgrade here. So we're keeping an eye on that. Uh, it won't take very long to get up to 30 miles an hour in run three. All right, doesn't look like we have to change any tracks here, so that's good news for us. Let's just go ahead and slow down a little bit here. Try to figure out what we're doing. Next, uh, they're going to have us Hamilton approach 1.2 miles to that. So we're going to stay on this line, it looks like. Definitely not going to the right. And yep, there's no switches there or anything for that. So that works out fantastic. Having to jump on the brakes here and there to maintain this 15 miles an hour. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and go to idle now because it seems to uh, be wanting to go a little quicker with this downgrade. Uh, 400 yards to our via location on Hamilton approach. Managing our speed quite well. Uh, they want us to uh, jump up to 30, but we're not going to because look, we have a 15 mile an hour zone coming up here in 160 yards now. Uh, so there's no point in that. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. We're still in neutral. And uh, we're still going towards Hamilton Yard West, it looks like. And there's the 15 there. So it's a good thing we were ready for it, don't you say? And the train should move to the left here, which it is. And there's another loco here. Keep an eye on this. Make sure we're all good to go on this section. And now we got to stop at location. Hamilton Yard West. You got it. We made it all the way down here without any incidents. So we're going to go ahead and start slowing it down even more. We come down to the stopping point here in Hamilton Yard West. At least a little bit more there. Wonderful. We'll pop out to the outside view and you can just see the yard here. Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn neat. All right, man. We're almost there. Almost there. A little bit further. Been managing the loco pretty darn good today, I must say. Pretty happy with it. Slow down even more. Just that initial reduction is all you need. Release it. And uh, once we get this little marker, we're going to go full on that guy. If it will uh, allow us to. It's being pretty picky here. I got a three, two, one, all that. I'm just going to go ahead and go service. 
There we go. Set the reverser, reverser to neutral. All right. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. All right. Make sure that we're at uh, idle on the throttle. Go to neutral on you. Uh, automatic brake goes to handle off. It's this guy. There we go. And then your train will be stable here until the disruption association uh, associated with the maintenance clears. What? I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> You got it. Fantastic. Debriefing. There it is. Look at that. We're pretty darn good. Gold medal. That's what we like to see right there. The gold medal. Well, folks, that's our first look at this DLC. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's something different instead of doing all the yard work, I must say. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care of yourself and each other.